you are very generous. <laughs> no, in, in terms of discipline, desire, commitment, nothing to say, you know, no. Uh, I really think, uh, you know, that they, they gave everything. So I, I told them, obviously, bail once again. Unfortunately, made the difference, but you can appreciate the goal he scored. Uh, it's obvious that they, they should score even before they deserve to stay one lap early. But in terms of commitment, desire, I have to only say thanks to the players, but that should be normal. It's obvious my frustration is because uh, I, I, mean, I don't have some quality for cause more problems to the opponents. But in general today, yes, yes, I'm very happy. I'm very happy because uh, after what's happened during the week, it wasn't easy. Uh, coming here, you know, with 11 adults, 11 adults, six, seven adults, some youngest on the field, start 11, and six kids on the bench wasn't easy. Until the end, we were nearly, you know, to, to pick a point, you know. Uh, that uh, is the only good thing that it's happened today. You, you talk about he wasn't involved, there's obviously been stories about him, Tyler. Can you, can you explain what happened? Uh, he, uh, you know more than me. I discovered that <laughs> I saw the picture, you know, in a website. The the morning leader of uh, the night that they spent out. So, what I have to tell you is out from my school. It's obvious the, how I can play uh, a player that uh, probably st uh, is blurry for three, four days after what's happened. Uh, but more important, I can play a player. I want to deliver a uh, very clear message. I wanted to deliver it since the beginning that uh, there is not excuse to behave like he did because Wigan lost the game, now we stay up. Otherwise, every time we are going to beat Man United, what are we, we going to do? Or maybe after Newcastle game. What are we going to do? Spend two nights out because we are happy? Uh, I can understand if we win a Champions League or maybe a fake up. Even I can have a, a glass, a two glasses of a red wine, I can understand because I know that there is different culture because it happened also to me not to do what happened to him. But uh, I celebrate, we have a cup. We Juventus, uh, I eat more in the night and more drink, but in the summer, I, I can imagine because I don't want to change the culture of the people. But I told them the day before, from now I will be more strict because I will judge you more carefully because now we have to improve our professionalism because we have to respect the dignity of the club, the fans, because they still follow us in 2,000, 3,000 people, and the rules of the sport because uh, like we were happy when Swansea won against Wigan, we have to make sure that we gave everything to put in difficulty Tottenham because Arsenal Obviously for ourselves, but also for the others. Pre, uh, you know, the, mo the most important thing is for us, but also for the sports in general. They have to care about what's going on around us. You know, but if you don't respect yourself, how you can respect the others? Is, is he? Do you think? Is, does that affect his future at the, the club? Because obviously, he's I would think I'm really careful. Always, I give it a second chance to the people. But we're talking about 31 years of age, not a kid, with a family at home. I'm not here to be a priest that I have to convince the people to behave different, but I have to talk about my club and my team. We have a fantastic academy. We have youngest that uh, they have the changing room next to the adults. If we don't punish this kind of behavior, what are we talking about? Fantastic academy, they clean the booth, they say good morning to everybody, they're very educated people, but they, adult example for them and the best and the worst example are next to them. If we don't punish this kind of behavior, how they grew up thinking, ah, laugh about what they saw in the website, the picture, and maybe they think it's fantastic, behave like you know, a gangster that, uh, what a mentality we're gonna deliver? Because sometimes I discover, not only at Sunderland, in many other places, unfortunately, there is always a fantastic box, Christmas box, fantastic, the academy, many lights, potentiality, money, and then inside, oh, especially you, maybe, you want a good, a good uh, diamond inside, I don't know, the guy, you know, no. <laughs> good diamond inside, and there is, what there is? 
<laughs> a piece of chocolate open already, so maybe it can be good anyway, but we have to put something in this box. Otherwise, we're always talking, talking, and we close our eyes, and then we're never going to change. In the future, uh, uh, we'll be very clear with the club. No, 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 English in general. But it's obvious that's a different culture, you know. I don't want to change the culture because I love England. So when when uh, you, you you decide to work uh, in an uh, um, environment uh, that is positive and negative, I know that uh, this part, I was speaking with Andrea before, is, is, is normal, but not often and not in a wrong time because there is time and time. I told you before, tonight, I can imagine. Even, you know, uh, after the game, after Newcastle, I can imagine, but not like we saw, because that is uh, something really wrong. It's disgusting me even to see this image for the club. It's not about I went out with my friend, get back home at 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, which is late anyway for me, but you can close one eye and not full of alcohol and walking like this. We are athletes. They are athletes. I'm old. They have to behave well. It takes three, four days. Experience. I realized in the morning, because I didn't see the picture, to be honest, I told Fabrizio to my assistant manager, I don't play Phil Sunday at today. Why? Look. I speak to him, he look in the sky. He can't listen what I, uh, I'm going to tell him. He, he's blurry. Mm, I don't know what's happened. I don't know what's happened. The day after, I discover what's happened. Obviously, I read my player. Thank, something went wrong the day before. And for sure, I discovered that it was a really, really bad situation. Not only him. Not only him, because I discovered that out with him, there were other players. But, but the others left the two guys before to get into the casino and stay there until early in the morning, which is completely different because obviously Tuesday night they went out together, have a dinner and watch, you know, the game, we can want it. They are allowed to do this. Have a drink, they celebrate, they were happy, I can imagine. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, midnight. But, but don't exaggerate. What I saw is not acceptable for my club and for my squad. That is not accepted. Well, you've made a few changes this season. Um, quite a few, you're trying to change the mentality of the team, which is probably number one. But what else do you plan to change next season to improve the club? Yeah, it's obvious that uh, talking about mentality is not only the manager. It's difficult, I'm uh, all my staff. Uh, we have to make sure that uh, when we bring players, we have to make sure that they are good professional because they have to infect each other. Otherwise, from outside, the, 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 their dressing room is their kingdom, you know what I mean? So I can deliver a good message, I can put the strict rules to, to help them to understand that we have to behave in a different way. But we need to bring six, seven players that uh, they got a very high professional ethic, you know, and then can infect each other, you know, help each other in some way. Otherwise, for me, it's difficult. That is uh, the, the mentality, you know. In general, we need to bring quality players quality with quality in different area of the field up front is crucial because for win a game you need to score uh, we, we don't score many goals sorry At the beginning, I thought it was difficult. Week by week, daily, I discovered that we had more and more problems than what I expected. So, so this is why when I, I, I said everybody that uh, we made a miracle, because what we discovered this week is only one aspect of the problem we got, in my opinion. It doesn't mean that uh, we have more uh, worse problem than this. It doesn't mean that everybody go out every night, uh, have a drunk session, drink session. No, in general, talking about uh, professionalism or the job we want to deliver or rules, 
Uh, I go mad, I go mad because I'm telling you this. What's happened to Barsley is a, a, a far past for me, for what's happened the last three days. A few other players. In a week, I delivered, I gave in, two, in uh, seven player hands, seven fine. Even for a small things, eh? No? Half an hour late. That, next? Sorry? Next? To my squad today, they decide I don't train today. They make the di di diagnosis, you know, the diagnosis that self. One player didn't go to Academy of Lights because he said, yesterday I had a poison food. Okay, sorry. Are you the doctor? The doctor tried to contact him, three hours, switch off the telephone. This is the situation, Asanda. This is why I tell you, we made a miracle. We made a miracle previously. Eight games, three points. With the Canyon, seven games, eight points. That is the miracle we made. Without the strikers, because before there was Fletch available, Stefan available, Craig available, the three top striker. That is the miracle we made. But we can't make, make a, miracle, a miracle forever, so we have to change a lot of things. Oh, maybe I'm gonna tell you this, and tonight they're gonna suck me, eh? I don't know. But if you wanna change something, they, are, they have to follow me. Otherwise, it's difficult to get better results than what they got in the last few years. How long have you spoken to your owner about all of these problems? Uh, I think, you know, obviously I will get a chance when I can meet him. Obviously, we are going to sit at the table and go through. But obviously, he knows, he knows many things. Uh, and the way it sounds before, because I, I spoke to him before by telephone, he told me we are going to change many things. This is what he told me before at the telephone. Relax, don't be mine because uh, we are going to change many things. So it sounds that support me completely. We will see in the future. Carlo, have you found the players, the, the, other, the other seven players, for similar offences to Phil Bardley? Sorry? Have you found them because they have been out as well? No, no, no. Different reasons, different rules, you know. Some. Pitch, they've broken the rules. But not my rules, the rules that you got in every club because if you are injured uh, you know that uh, you got plan in the morning you got treatment in the afternoon you have to go in the pool and uh, you leave a lunch time and uh, you switch off the telephone and nobody can contact you for all day you have to get fine but this is not Paulo Di Canio when I gave the the funny hand the day after he was surprised before it was normal to leave the training ground switch off the telephone I don't go through the job that uh, I have to do. And then the day after, everybody forgot because it was more convenient. I don't have a friction probably with the player. I don't care. I don't care to have argument with my players, but they have to go through the rules. This is what is one. And then a uh, few others. You know, if you think after Aston Villa, we lost 6 1, if I am not wrong. We gave the point uh, at 4 o'clock in, in the afternoon. Someone arrived at 20 past four. Like if it's not, no, I didn't get an appointment to them at seven o'clock in the morning. I can understand that you don't sleep. At four o'clock in the afternoon, someone arrived. What sense of responsibility they got. They live five minutes from Academy of Light. I was waiting them in the corridor. Three, four players arrived by walking. By no, I can imagine you late, you know, you run, sorry. This was the behavior in Premier, a club that spent every year millions and millions. It's not acceptable. I thought, I thought that as win don't lead to, you know, arrogant, ignorant footballers in some way, so they don't know exactly, no? Because there are not many, many chances to, to stay at the top level. I have to tell you, unfortunately, I found a worse environment in terms of discipline in this club. It's not a... Hell is fourth. It's not because uh, he put Holy God in this, but I don't know. But this is what I found, what I found in the last few weeks. So we have to change completely. It will be very hard if uh, I don't receive the maximum support.
from the board because uh, I know that every time uh, you know that the player will go to the PFA, the PFA will call and then you have to let them speak, you have to let them uh, try to explain why, uh, they excuse people that behave like Phil Basley, and you are your hand like this because you can't find them because but let them speak let them explain why why what do you what do you you, you need to speak when you see this they they get fine they under a, pri a private club pfa don't pay them it's a private club that pay them and we have to defend the profession with the dignity uh, they have to now try to understand because uh, for an a player we received already a phone call it was a misconduct, a clear misconduct, eh, but you have to, hey lads, the club pay them, the club pay them, not you, it happened to me as wind eh, many times, so now we have to be more sensible, but uh, it's very difficult to change. The players that you've, you've had problems with, will they still be at Sunderland next season if you can control that position? No under me. Paulo, how will you react if you don't get the financial backing to make the changes that you feel are required? How no, I don't know. No, no, I don't want to talk about this situation. I know that there is a plan. I told already, it's clear the picture in front of me, so I told what we need. I don't want to talk about financial. No, because what we have said, I am a head coach. The others have to handle the financial situation, the money, but I will ask. I need this kind of player with this quality in this position of the field. Show me the player we can go <laughs> and pick. I, I tell you, yes, this one is okay, this one is okay, because I don't want to know nothing about money. The club have to spend money, not Paolo Di Cagno. Paolo, you talked about holidays before. You definitely cut the like, holiday time now for the rest of the summer. For the players, you mean? Uh, the next two days we will be in together because uh, previously, once again, the people used to organize during the week from London, we go to Hawaii, to Miami, we go there, and they w w was thinking, uh, you know, for f five days, organize the bugs, uh, my wife, uh, my boyfriend, my daughter, my, we go together. Not possible, today we fly back as a team together. We go back in our city, we stay tomorrow together, lunchtime with the kids sponsor, because we have a job to do, okay, we are lucky for this and then three players they got in you know international uh, football you know with their national teams the others until when they will be together enjoy to training session then they can go holiday why you still uh, open the box with the diamonds uh. <laughs> I didn't see, I saw only the, you know, the challenge, shoulder to shoulder, I don't know if there was, you know, cross legs, I don't know what's happened. You know, it's difficult, to be honest, now it was difficult for me to, to focus, you know, my attention, this aspect, aspect. obviously, the, 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 the bail yellow card, there can be yellow card or can be penalty, sometimes it's 50-50. I saw there was a contact, but not clear for, you know, give a penalty. The other one, I don't know, probably the, the shot that uh, was a rebound with this, I don't know if it was if it was completely open. Normally, if you cover more space, uh, you open your arms, it's a penalty by fist close. I don't know, it was uh, once again 70 yards from me. I know it's difficult for me to judge. I didn't see yet again the clip. Okay. Uh, with this manager, with Andre, and with two, I don't want to say many, but two or three top, top, because uh, f to get there, now it's easy for Tottenham with this manager. But that beat, it take, it take a lot, uh, and you need a big, big quality, big, big quality, and not a top, top striker because before the Bajor, they can guarantee goals, but they need a top, top strike, in my opinion, front. This is my opinion. I got problem, I have but for read, because I'm curious to read, and they need another two top, top footballers. In my opinion, they are in a very contention for winning the league.
because you can imagine next year Manchester City, Chelsea, they're going to reinforce their team. Probably Mourinho going to come back, you know. But uh, the job they have done this year is amazing already. It's already amazing. Thank you. Bye-bye. Be careful, don't lose your diamond.